It is great to see you on No Nonsense Airbnb Tips and Tricks. Think you know everything about hosting on VRBO? Well, think again. We are going to dive into 16 fascinating facts about VRBO that are sure to surprise you and might even change the way you host. So let's embark on this journey together and uncover the secrets of VRBO hosting. Are you ready for it? Let's turn the page and begin the intriguing adventure. First one is exclusive spaces only. Unlike Airbnb, where you can rent a shared space like a room in your house, VRBO requires that it be an entire property, such as a flat or a house. You cannot list just a room on VRBO. This is one of the biggest difference between VRBO and Airbnb. Second one is VRBO doesn't allow same day bookings. Yes, you heard it right. There is no way a guest can book a property for the same night on VRBO. Bookings must start at least one day in advance. And this may sound insane in this day and age, but perhaps it is their way of keeping problematic guests away. Last minute bookings are notorious and very popular among young groups looking for a place to party tonight. Next one is property damage insurance. On VRBO, there is no property damage insurance for hosts. Your only defense is the damage deposit you set on your listing. And although VRBO does provide public liability insurance, but it doesn't extend to cover damages to your property. It only covers you for liability claims, for example, if someone breaks their leg during the stay. So make sure you get third-party content insurance when hosting on VRBO. Next one is handling damages and claims. If VRBO guest damages something in your property, you can claim the damage deposit without providing any documentation or proof. You can simply press the report damage button and the money will be on its way to your bank account. Although this offers more control to hosts, it is not fair to guests and is bound to be misused by some hosts. Next one is cancellation policy. VRBO offers a unique feature for hosts, the ability to cancel booking at any time, including the day of the check-in, even after the check-in. This flexibility is not commonly found on other platforms like Airbnb, where if you want to cancel a booking during the stay or within 24 hours of the guest arrival, you have to contact their customer services, speak to them, explain them the situation, and only they can cancel a booking. But there it is for you, and feel free to use it on VRBO and take advantage when you need it. Next is listing costs and commissions. Listing a property on VRBO is completely free, doesn't cost anything at all. They used to offer a subscription model, but now the only option is paper booking. They will take 5% service charge from hosts on the nightly rate, cleaning fee, pet fee, or any other fee you may be charging, and an additional 3% processing fee. And this processing fee is calculated on your nightly rate, cleaning fee, pet fee, any other fee, as well as the damage deposit. So keep this in mind when you are setting the damage deposit on your listing. Next is the listing process. Despite the complicated website navigation, listing a property on VRBO takes about an hour if you know where to go. And I will leave a link to a video in the description where I've walked you through step by step on how to create a VRBO listing from scratch in 30 minutes. But note, once you publish the listing, it takes them about 48 hours to verify and quality check your listing before it becomes publicly available. Next is transferring listing ownership. Listings are non-transferable on VRBO. If you're buying a property that already exists on VRBO, there is no way you can carry over the reviews to your account unless the seller agrees to give you full control of their old VRBO account. This isn't technically accurate, but it is the only way to overcome this issue and make sure you gain full control from the seller when you're doing so. Next is your listings reach. 
VRBO is owned by Expedia. By listing on VRBO, your property automatically gets listed on about 20 other child websites, including big names like Expedia and Hotels.com. And this happens seamlessly without any extra effort on your part. To you, it will continue to appear as though all the bookings are coming through VRBO. But in the background, they may be coming from those 20 child websites which Expedia owns. But if it is bringing you genuine bookings, who cares? Next is guest reviews on VRBO. If you want to check a guest's profile and their travel history on VRBO, although you can see the overall rating left by the previous host, but you cannot see any comments left on their profile. And this is completely different from Airbnb, where detailed reviews can help you better understand the person who is going to use your property for a few days. Next one is altering a booking. When it comes to changing dates for an existing booking on VRBO, it can be very confusing. You can easily change the dates, but modifying them doesn't automatically update the pricing. And the worst is, once you have altered the booking dates, you will need to send a separate payment request to the guest for the difference amount and keep following up with them until they have paid. And VRBO won't do anything. Am I the only one who finds this crazy in this 21st century where AI is taking over the world and we are chasing guests for payments instead of the platform doing it and charging us a commission for arranging all this? Anyway, next is showcasing your property with a video. VRBO allows you to add a video to your property, a feature that Airbnb is still hesitant to add. You can create a video, upload it on YouTube, and link it on your VRBO listing, and this gives the potential guests a dynamic view of your space. And the next is cancellation policy. The most relaxed cancellation policy on VRBO still requires a 14-day notice period. And this is great for hosts as it provides us security, but it is less flexible for guests who might need to make last minute changes. But it works well for us hosts, so let's move on to the next one, which is setting age requirements. VRBO allows you to set a minimum age requirement for bookings. You can set an age limit under the rules and policies section of your listing, and VRBO will restrict anyone under that age from booking your property. On the other hand, Airbnb strictly doesn't allow any kind of age-based discrimination, and there is no way to do the same thing on Airbnb. Next is custom rental agreements. Guests on VRBO agree to the platform's standard rental agreement, which are their terms and conditions. However, you can upload your own rental agreement, which guests must agree before making a booking. And this allows you to set terms specific to your property and rental style, which gives you more control if you want. And the last one is split payments. On VRBO, you can set payment terms for the guest, such as you can say a percentage at the time of the booking, and the rest of it has to be paid X days before the check-in. For example, I usually put 25% at the time of the booking, and 75% they have to pay 14 days before their check-in date. Although it shouldn't matter to me as a host, because I still get paid by VRBO in full, 24 hours after the guest check-in, irrespective of the payment plan that I offer to the guest. And it does add the complexity of having to monitor and follow with the guest to ensure they have paid all in full before they show up at the property. And VRBO won't do anything if they don't pay the second installment. And it will be entirely up to you to ensure the guest is fully paid before they arrive and VRBO will not hold or cancel the booking for incomplete payments. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into VRBO hosting. Who knew there was so much to discover? Have any of these points changed how you view VRBO? Maybe sparked some new ideas? I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe for more insights and tips in the world of short-term rental hosting. Until next time, keep making your hosting journey a success. Happy hosting, everyone.